I think we are ready to go. Of course the music ended. Of course. Uh, I'm not waiting for it to end. It just kind of lines up that way. Just kind of lines up. There we go. Let's see. We're all good. Phone's on. Volume's off. That's going. Yeah. We'll get that going. Uh, get this going. Chapter 5. Right. So, I wanted to rearrange. I remember that. I know Ogma was pretty... was up front. I want to get... Do this. I want to try to get Julian closer. I want to see if we can get Julian a little bit closer. And Julian is right here. He can't make it. If we get him to where Castor is, then we can make it. Hold on. I'm gonna reset. This is where I wish just the rearrange function just exists. Because the game basically lets you rearrange, you just have to do it in a very annoying way. Okay. So it seems like if you make sure Julian is last... currently going. Got about 30 seconds. Uh, I'll start moving everyone else. Instead of trying to get rid of these guys, unless they're going to move, I'm going to just have Drog <clears throat> just start moving. I want... I want Kala and Cat... I want Kala and Katria to start moving... Maybe even Sheeta as well. Yeah. Okay. So I rearranged. Julian is currently in the final slot of the of our lineup, which means he is exactly enough range to talk to Rickard. Hey, Rickard, what are you doing here? Oh, big bro, it's been so long. Originally, I planned to earn money with you, but you had already stopped your ways. But even if you found yourself a pretty cleric, it wasn't nice to just abandon me like that. Our love is just like that, huh? Hey, shut up! Don't spout nonsense like that, or other people will get the wrong impression. Anyway, you should quit your ways while, as well, and come with me. Ha! I understand. Whatever you go, I'll follow you, big bro Julian. And there's our other thief. Again, kind of the problem with recruiting Rickard is he's your only other thief that you can get, but it requires you to have your thief. So if for whatever reason you've lost Julian, you can't get a new thief. I, I think there's a problem with that idea, with that mindset. Alright, 
so the plan right now... Drog is gonna be blocking this spot. Ubello and, like, my archers are gonna be out there. My Pegasus Flyers are gonna try their best to head up and around. I would have to, like, stay at the edge. Again, Paolo's really the only one that can fight them. But I really need to get rid of this thief. And sadly, Rickard won't be able to do it. Attack at 11, attack speed of 7. Yeah, it's not going to work. It would take two hits, and Rickard's going to be in danger. I think he's better backing out. He does have the VIP card. So... The question is, is there a secret shop here? I mean, there's a way I can find out. If there is a secret shop, I think it's, like, right over here. That is my guess. Could be here, but I don't know. I don't think it would be on this side. Maybe somewhere up here? Yeah, it's hard to be here. Actually, I wonder if the village would, the house would say anything. Anyway. Let's get everyone moving. And remember, we can't get close to George. We don't want him fighting us. He has a bunch of snipers, and I know they'll win. goes. Again, if we get rid of that thief, there's nothing to worry about. That's the biggest problem. They are on the move. Oh, no. Okay. And yeah, I may end up using the arena. We may be spending some time there. Because I do think some of our units will probably need it. I don't know how many levels I should give, but I do think I should use it. Alright. Shrug, can you... No, he can't make it. Katria, there's Paula. I could throw... My calves there, where it looked like right here to block. Until Draw could get in range. I could do that. Because I want my flyers up this way. Alright, so. This spot right here is safe from the Draco Rider. Not from you, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, now let's just do that. Oh, Katria is, uh... Yeah, I basically need you to go up and around. 
some of these dragon riders. Okay. What is your range? Uh, I need to be careful. Okay. Having my thieves back out. Brody can't get in range with the mage. You can't either. Castro can't. We're gonna have to consider... Right here. And you have javelins, so... Again, they won't get close. They don't seem to get close to me. That's fine. I think we can live with this. Castro could go right here. Ryan could go right here. Yeah. This will work out fine. And I could put Warren right here. And he can be in range of the Javelin if he wanted to. Catria! is completely safe. I basically would need to go here if I wanted to be safe. Alright. That'll... That'll just have to do. Yeah, the commander ordered us to the castle. I'm not going. Treat civilians like slaves. I'm not seriously going to work for a guy like him. Just ignore his order. I couldn't do that. If I did that right now, my men would get in trouble. That's something that I must avoid at all costs. Okay, then tell them to stay where they are. If any enemy gets too close, begin to attack. Okay. He doesn't like Lane. He doesn't like how the civilians are being treated like slaves. But he's not gonna just join Altia. So this is a case where we just need to leave him alone and finish the chapter. Maybe he'll join us in a, at the end of the chapter or something. If there is a particular person to talk to him with, I'm not sure who. That's good. Cat drugs being attacked. Okay. Go 
Warren. Attack back. Oh, you can't double. Oh, I didn't realize Paolo was in the way, but luckily it's the stone one, not the not the arrow one. Yeah, that's fine. Again, I want Drog to block that path. Okay. Let's see. Cheetah's going up here and just rushing up. Hala. Ooh, you know what? I need. I should have her help out. Let's see. An attack of twenty-one. Attack speed of eight. Attack of 21, minus 8. Uh, we need to make sure we get 12 damage. Yeah, we have, we'll deal 13. Paula can handle this. A crit works too. Thirteen skill and HP. Okay. Let's see. Mark could probably get rid of this guy. Or could feed it to an archer. Uh oh no, it crashed. First of all, it thinks I keep unplugging the headphones. Thanks, computer. And it crashed. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for that. Now we gotta start that over. Wouldn't be a Scottbot stream without technical issues. Thanks, computer. I'm not counting that. I am not counting that. Can I drop that down for a little bit? Yeah. I am not counting that. That was the computer's fault. Not mine. However... I do think I want to make a change. To make things easier for me. Not Drog. We can get Drog, I think, right here. So, I want Drog, Caster, Julia. I think that's right. Perfect. I want to draw farther up. So that way he could get to the bridge sooner. Should be able to block the bridge next turn. That's why I put him there. Alright. I guess I guess Rogi's gonna deal with this. Attack of 15. Attack speed of 3, no. Attack of 18. Oh no, Rody can't one-hit KO. Can Ogma do it? Yeah. It's gonna have to be Ogma. Rody doesn't have the attack speed. Not against the feet. That's fine. 
Oh, now Katria's farther up. Seems like Katria is going to be the one that's going to catch up to the thief. See now, see now that everyone's like rearranged. Oh, she could probably make it too. Now that everyone's rearranged, this is a little bit awkward. I know it's not the true Fire Emblem experience, but if there was a mod of this that just lets you rearrange your units like a normal Fire Emblem game without having to swap them in the menu, that'd be great. It's just a quality of life feature at that point. You know, I'm starting to wonder if I should actually have Yumina instead of her, instead of uh, Melissa, because she is the only one that can use the re uh, the return staff. She's the only one, and having that as an option would be great. But I can always just take her with me. I don't know. Now that all that's blocked, we can kind of have our units hang out here instead. Brody. Cecile. Marth. Uh, that's basically it. Don't put someone immediately behind the mark. Do something like this. And I gotta be careful. He, this guy has a javelin. doing that. I don't like laying these civilians and slaves. Ignore his order. Stand your ground. Attack if they attack you. Or if they get too close. Rody, okay, okay. 
This is a slightly better setup. I almost wish, though, that one of my Pegasus Flyers was a little bit closer. That's the only thing I think I would want. So that way they can get to the thief soon. Other than that, this is all right. You get a crit. Good for you. Hopefully that doesn't bite you in the butt. Is that a javelin? No, that's another seal user. Oh good, you dodged. What, no crit this time? That's, okay, there's the jack. Going after Agma. And you're going after Rhodey, okay. okay. Yep, go after Trog. Oh, wow. I took four damage. I'm so scared. Now you had to get up close. Alright. And they're all... That's all I gotta take it pretty slow. Exact damage. Exact resistance to uh, ignore a fire spell. Okay. Next, Ogma. You go right ahead. Then attack at 15. Defense of 8. That's 7. Not enough. Attack of 18. Okay, not enough. You would need a crit. Is anyone, is anyone else weak? Too bad I don't have a Rider's Bane anymore. Let's see. Okay, Ryan, can you take care of this guy? Attack of 14. Seven. Okay, yeah, you're good. Get a crit. That works. What's your attack speed? Not enough. Uh, what about Lind? Attack of eight. I can double. Yeah. Or I could just use a single aura. I don't know. Maybe I should have used the thunder. Of course you get the crit. Fine. All right. Next. Can Warren uh, get the mage? Attack of 15. Can't double. And no, you can't. Um. But Castor. Attack of 18. Yes, Castor could just get the KO. 
and Bellow with an attack of six and attack speed of six. Oh, okay. He could, but Drog needs to weaken again. Attack of 15? That's a 3, 12. Uh, he would need healing. I don't trust that. I was gonna feed him the XP. Well, for right now, Drog might as well attack. Well, that works out. That works out for him. Because now we can let you bellow. Grab the KO. Give him some EXP. Level 2. Strength, speed, and weapon level. Well, the speed is nice, but strength will help later on if he becomes a cleric. Oh, not a cleric. Wait, his attack went up. Does strength actually affect magic damage? Is it was weapon level. Wait, does weapon level? Effect, or is it attacks, or is it speed? What effect? Something affects magic damage. Something affects mag magic damage. Okay. I can let Caster go ahead and get this kill. Okay. 